You know, Davos every year is a really, really good collection of government leaders, policy makers, leaders of thought, the civil society, which I fall into. And we share our ideas, we share our best practice, we share our challenges too. I thought this year was particularly good because there was a very, very strong, what I would call a female quotient. We actually had our own center on the main road called the female quotient and over 300 women from around the world you know identified women leaders met there in between our bilateral and multilateral meetings and so we had a chance to get some art in some culture in and just actually have quite a good time with each other i was particularly happy from the well-being foundation africa that i was be able to i was able to meet with a lot of my partners we were able to plan a new paradigm for this decade. This is called the decade of action. I call it the decade of delivery. You know, we've spent the last 10 years learning new models, implementing them, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. And this is now the time to move the resources to actually, you know, push through these solutions that we are sure work, that we are sure will reach the people, that will put the people first, and basically, you know, look after our people, give them universal health coverage, while at the same time trying to save the planet. Davos, as you can see, it's very high up in the mountains. It's a long way from home. But I was really pleased to come. I saw um, a new type of dialogue developing. It's no longer this north-south, you know, learning, being sent down. It's what I would call an exchange of knowledge and an exchange of ideas. I think that we met with our partners on an equal footing. I think we had a lot to teach them as much as we also had to learn from them. And where Nigeria is concerned, I'm really looking forward to the new investments in primary health that we will be bringing in country with you know, very tried and tested partners. And the difference this time is that we're also putting in research element so that hopefully we will have independent data to be able to guide our actions in the next 10 years. Then because it's the year of the nurse and midwife and because I'm the global ambassador for nurses and midwives of the International Confederation of Midwives, which represents over a million midwives in 136 countries. I really, really did want to do some very strong advocacy that midwives should be placed front, center, and at the heart of health systems everywhere. I'm hoping that I'm going to see the results of that advocacy very soon.